the Harris Waltz Dream Team is crushing Republicans. The Harris Waltz ticket will crush the Republicans and their crazy authoritarian rhetoric, ideals, and policies. Dream Team. Yet mad baby Trump is running back and forth like Stillwell baby. (laughs) Endlessly taunting, ranting, teasing, gloating, and harassing. You're gonna lose. You're gonna lose. (laughs) We're gonna win. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, we are. Yeah, we certainly are. Remember Trump on stage burped out that (laughs) the U.S. spells us. (laughs) The U.S. spells us. I just realized that. The U.S. actually spells us. Yeah, he (laughs) says, the U.S. spells us. I just realized that. (laughs) Most people don't know that. (laughs) (laughs) I believe that Waltz was a perfect choice. The governor of Minnesota, a retired command sergeant major. What? No bone spurs? <laughs> <laughs> I got bone spurs. I can't, Ouch. Do it. I can't be able Ow. to I continue. He's a retired teacher, football coach, animal lover, union guy, blue collar guy, rural Democrat, born in a very, very small town, and I mean small, conservative town. A heartland every man. He's a real McCoy. <laughs> he is. VP pick governor, former congressman, and the next vice president, Tim Waltz, is Minnesota's 41st governor. He was first elected governor in 2018 and won re-election in 2022. Accomplishments from his time as governor include providing universal free school meals for students, protecting reproductive freedom, Strengthening voting rights. Laying the groundwork to get Minnesota to 100% clean electricity. Cutting taxes for the middle class and poor. Expanding paid leave for Minnesota workers. He supports affordable health care for all and lower drug prices. Mm -hmm. A little note. His dad got very ill when he was 17 and then he died. Walt said his ma spent the next 10 years paying off the medical debt. Real Americans have real problems. Right, they sure do. The elite, rich, and powerful don't have a clue and don't friggin' care. While the Republicans, including Trump, have gutted the Midwest, destroyed unions, and implemented most of the Wall Street and banking deregulation policies that killed the world economy. Yes, Mm mm-hmm. Republicans also had a hand in overseas trade policies, policies that go back decades and decades of trade policies that lost American jobs. Right. And like we explained in a previous show, many Republicans welcomed NAFTA. Yeah, yeah. Nobody talks about that. Bush one worked on the plan before Clinton. Then in the 90s, a whopping 34 of the Republican senators voted for it, voted for NAFTA. Yeah, that's over half. Don't believe Fox. (laughs) (laughs) But even before Bush won, President Ronald Reagan, I should say (laughs) ex-President Ronald Reagan. (laughs) Former President Ronald Reagan. Bye. (laughs) President Reagan had broached the idea of a free trade agreement with Mexico in the 80s, the 1980s, okay? When trade between the two countries was high volume, but in many cases restricted. Anyway, within the U.S., NAFTA was seen as putting an official seal of approval on what was already happening in the 1970s and 1980s. Two decades of American manufacturers were already moving jobs to Mexico. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Mm -hmm. due to lower labor costs on that side of the border. Mm -hmm. Then Bragg Trump, Fugu Trump... (laughs) Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and Mexico's outgoing president at the time signed the United States-Mexico-Canada Agreement, Mm -hmm. the USMCA, the worst trade deal ever made, he said, regarding, (laughs) (laughs) regarding NAFTA, right? Though Trump's New Deal leaves the actual terms of NAFTA largely intact. Of course it does. Mm. Otherwise, he'd have to rewrite it. (laughs) He doesn't write or read. Yeah, I don't know what it says. 
Yeah. <laughs> it marked a symbolic end to an era. As we discussed on our podcast, moving the quantity allowed of imported car parts a couple of percentage points is not a significant change, especially after touting the worst trade deal ever. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. Another elitist lie. Yes. Yeah. In addition, Trump not adding rules, hiring benchmarks, limits accountability, tax and import penalties for American companies that abandoned Americans and the American workers mm-hmm. and manufactured across the border and sold out employees here in America. Yes. Is just more diarrhea of the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Spew it out. Yeah, that's what he does a lot of that, doesn't he? Yes, I remember Trump foaming at the mouth mm-hmm. about a huge <laughs> trade deficit with Mexico <laughs> and abroad. Huge. <laughs> huge. huge. It's yeah. huge. Yeah. huge. We'll go. <laughs> <laughs> Mad baby Trump is full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> he is no different than the other big business, spoon fed elite children. <laughs> Now, he did slap a big tariff on steel, aluminum, and even Canadian lumber yep. that increased housing costs by a third, yeah, but- and his policy was a huge chunk <laughs> <laughs> of the snowball that skyrocketed the prices of new homes and existing homes. Yep. The five mega companies that control lumber and pricing took advantage of this and made even more moolah. Your price gouging. Mula. Yes, price gouging. Mula. We paid for it. This was a plan no different than how things are manipulated in. Da 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 da. <laughs> Corporate capitalism. Uh, <laughs> enough said. Let's move on. All right then. Back to the Republicans. Do we have to? Boring. Well, not really, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Trump and Vance deregulate to help destroy our environment, along with deconstructing the unions, all the way back to Reagan. <laughs> right. Trump and other Republicans before him have given enormous tax breaks and other advantages, including lots and lots of free money. That's our money. Yep. To the mega rich and the mega corporations. Seven point eight trillion in Trump's case in just four years, wow. not eight. A gosh darn record <laughs> <laughs> that it was. Oh, was that all? <laughs> <laughs> but, Let's give him more. <laughs> but didn't you hear? According to him, he had the best economy. Sure, he did. Don't make me laugh. Listeners, check out our other shows and Ethan's AI updates for the real stats. Yep. Moving forward, Mad Baby Trump's VP pick, Visro Vance, <laughs> is part of this economic screw-the-people abomination they disingenuously label as freedom. Yes. Further, Vance isn't a heartland guy or a middle-class teacher that went to a local college on the GI Bill. Nope. No. Vance went to Yale and worked where most money grubbers work, as a venture capitalist. Yeah, there you go. And Wall Street. same thing different call name another fact billionaire capitalist funded his career really i would never have guessed that (laughs) (laughs) me neither (laughs) he and trump have a lot in common for one thing they both filed bankruptcies (laughs) astonishing (laughs) blow my mind wow now back to harris's vp pick tim walls He codified abortion rights after Roe was overturned, went to college on the GI Bill, implemented an infrastructure bill. By contrast, Trump's infrastructure bill was, wait for it, he wanted to give taxpayer money to the rich to build the roads and the bridges. Didn't he want to privatize them? (laughs) I think he did. I think he wanted to privatize them. Wait, not done, not done. And then... Charge us to use them without regulation <laughs> or limits. <laughs> Privatize them. <laughs> I can see it now. Private toll roads across America. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Don't got 10 bucks. Y'all can't get to the emergency room. Who cares? 
pop that little fella out in the back seat. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is hilarious. You shouldn't be riding with a pregnant woman in your car anyway. <laughs> That's another podcast. That's a no-no. Bad, bad. So, Governor and future VP Waltz cut taxes for us. Not the rich. He enacted paid leave into law. He supports cannabis for adults and for pain management. <laughs> <laughs> and he legalized it. <laughs> drink a little drink, smoke a little smoke. That's a song. <laughs> For those who don't know. Uh, Governor Waltz has prioritized making Minnesota the best state in the country to raise a family. He loves animals and supports farmers. He is authentic. A no bullshit kind of guy you can have a beer with. Unlike Visceral Vance or Mad Baby Trump. <laughs> so <good. laughs> uh, fish oh. lip fugu. <laughs> a little flipper hands. You got that little flipper hands. Uh, Wall supports IVF. As a matter of fact, both his children were conceived by IVF. It was why his daughter was named Hope. He implemented laws to protect women's rights in the state. He placed environmental initiatives in the state. Again, free college education for those needing help. He implemented the Young Women's Equity Initiatives that includes people of all races and the LGBTQ plus community. Did we mention free school lunches for children? <laughs> you just did. Yeah, cool. So cool. Check this. Governor Waltz feeds kids. And gives less advantaged people a shot at college, yes. while Republican Sarah Huckabee puts kids back in the meatpacking plants. <laughs> that funny. With little safety protections, with the full support from Trump, Vance, and other Republicans. Uh huh. Go ahead. You can. The kids work long hours, mm -hmm. even during school. Yeah. They are underpaid, have no wage benefit protections, and some mm -hmm. kids work the crazy night shift, yeah. too. Working the night shift, no benefits, no wage protections, even minimum wage protections. Working the night shift. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't no nine to fiver. Could ain't be that. 11 to seven. Ain't that. Free tips. Free, free tax free what? on tips. Free tax oh, on I tips. Oh, I thought you said something else. Free, ta Oops. free taxes on tips. <laughs> Free taxes on tits. What would you, what would you say? <laughs> a no tip. tax tip. A no tax Tips. tit day. Tips. The, Does that mean like the like, Republicans want to win over people by by not taxing? Tips. Didn't Trump say that Trump. strippers aren't going to be taxed on their tips that they get while they're dancing on the pole? Right. Was so, that it? so in, in Trump's mind, it's it's, it's not, strippers. It's strippers. <laughs> <laughs> this can't get any crazier, man. Here's your ten dollars, <laughs> Yeah, Sarah Huckabee, she's too much. Shame, shame. <laughs> the witch went even crazier. <laughs> the witch won't let us build a bridge. <laughs> it's on Caspan. <laughs> <laughs> so while Democrats waltz. Harris, Biden, make things better for America and Americans and implement many policies that benefit America and Americans. Mm -hmm. Trump the terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Visceral Vance and other Republicans help the super rich, the connected, and big business. Yes. And I don't want to call him Trump anymore. I'll call him Drump. Drump. Yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Just, I'm just, we can go on. It's just, it's Drump. Yeah. That's, that's a better name for him. <laughs> Don't forget helping foreign oligarchs, plutocrats, and praising dictators mm -hmm. and autocrats. That's mm -hmm. what he wants to be. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Trump stated publicly, President Putin says it's not Russia. I don't see any reason why it would be. <laughs> remember that on TV? Yes, I do. I remember it vividly. I think he was stroking Putin's hair when he said it. <laughs> <laughs> he was bending over. I think he's choking Putin's hair. Is it good for you? <laughs> <laughs> if that's not enough, 
His adoration of dictators drips from his dentin when speaking to or about these communistic authoritarian leaders. <laughs> they aren't our allies, mm-hmm. but technically they're our enemies. Yep. That doesn't stop him from foaming when he said publicly, hey, he's the head of a country, and I mean he's a strong head. Kim speaks and his people sit up at attention. I want my people to do the same. Yeah, well, if Kim's people don't do that, he shoots them. <laughs> That's the difference. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Trump's a traitor. Yep. This keeps happening for a reason. Trump expresses public admiration for dictators, not despite their authoritarian control, but because of it. <laughs> I have a really big uh, brain. (laughs) (laughs) Trump is so full of shit. He whined about the border and the terrible job Joe Biden did. Now he attacks Kamala about the border. Yes. But he stops a bipartisan border bill. You can't make this shit up, man. (laughs) Fugu Trump talked tough against Biden's student loan forgiveness. Don't forget the Republican lawmakers fought it in Congress. Uh Uh-huh. And the Republicans in red states, uh, they sued uh, the Biden administration over it. (laughs) Jackasses. (laughs) That and the EPA. Uh Uh-huh. I remember that. (laughs) Regarding tougher environmental standards. Yeah, they sued over that. (laughs) And the Republicans also sued over fair and equal voting rights. Uh, Imagine that. (laughs) And they use our taxpayer money to fund their games. Like I said, you can't make this shit up. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't. The terrified Trump team has consistent diarrhea of the mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what was that? They do. <laughs> what the hell was that? I don't know. <laughs> Where'd that come from? It's just one of those, I almost had a visual that scared oh, me. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 please no. <gasps> okay. You got the- some on his tie. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> that won't come out in the wash. Oh, My. <laughs> That's got to soak for a while. Oh, you're having too much fun. <laughs> the Democrats, the Democrats like Tim Walz and Harris, talk about issues and implement initiatives and policies supporting those concerns, while the Trump team and his VP blabber gossip and have no policy to implement just more BS. And they're mad all the time. They're mad all the time. Mm-hmm. They never have a smile on their face. When I mean, they do, it's plastered. It looks like a jack-o'-lantern smile. <laughs> <laughs> uh, again, the Trump team have no policy to implement just more BS. No, he did give those tax uh, credits to the mega-rich uh, big corporations, as well as himself and mm-hmm. his family. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Remember Trump added $7.8 trillion to the federal debt that the wow. American people are now forced to pay? $7.8 trillion under Trump. Yeah. Shh, listen. It's not a secret. Vote blue. Vote oh, blue. Congress, too. Congress, too. So the rich and mega-corporations don't get more Benefits, no benefits for the rich. on our backs. No. And so good policies that benefit the people will pass without being watered down like the ACA was. Yes. And so dirty justices are held accountable and more of them are not appointed. Dirty justices. Hear, hear. Did we mention Huckabee? <laughs> I think we did. <laughs> <laughs> more great news. Governor and now VP pick Tim Walz is supported by unions, blue-collar workers, the agricultural community, teachers, the young, and unions. He served in the military. Vet approved. Walz is salty the earth. By contrast, (laughs) Trump's Vance, well, mm, he did nothing for anyone. Yeah. Mm Mm-mm. He's just another crazy, fake, no convictions, flip-flopping, wears peddling, and gossip-promoting dickhead. <laughs> He's a weirdo. Dickhead. Vance is against IVF, no excuses, abortion, as he calls it. 
<laughs> what? No excuses. <laughs> yeah. Not no exceptions like for rape or the viability of the mother, but he calls them no excuses. Mm-hmm. So screw mom yep. and screw the 12-year-old child that was brutally raped. Yep. What a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Vance breaking news. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Trump's press secretary, Carolyn Levitt, says Waltz is a radical leftist. <laughs> <laughs> and Levitt accuses Waltz of embracing policies that allow convicted felons to vote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean like uh, for uh, ex-presidents with 34 felons? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bingo. <laughs> uh, <but laughs> Trump and the Republicans stand for nothing, do nothing, and their policies hurts us all. Yes. Trump and the Republicans destroy unions, rig the economy for the ultra-wealthy, try to repeal the ACA. That's Obamacare for those of you who aren't in the know. Yep. Tried to rig elections for the for the 2020 election, too. <laughs> but, you know, he didn't do that. <laughs> he wants a free and fair election. You know, that means uh-huh. I can rig it. Yeah. Uh-huh. Just get those uh, fake electors stage left. Come on up. <laughs> Repubs and Mad Baby Trump want to <laughs> gut Social Security. They are banning books and art. And, and requiring, requiring the, the Ten, Ten Commandments and Prayer in, in public, public schools. schools. <laughs> <laughs> they overturned Roe, robbed women over half of the country of the right to their own body, health, and futures. They allow and move towards increasing corporate dominance. Mm-hmm. Increased deregulation that harm us all. Pollution. Wall Street. Banking. Airlines. Wage depression. More and forevermore handouts to the rich. God yeah. bless America. <laughs> <laughs> they took he over the airports. <laughs> he, he, can't, he can't recite the Pledge of Allegiance. Remember he was mumbling, but he was <laughs> I pledge allegiance to... It was airports, ride, airports. Got to. Like, we shut them bitches down. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington had them all cut off. Teleprompter. Teleprompter. Trump, Trump, Trump says that Washington chopped down the sycamore tree. <laughs> uh, I, that hurricane's not going that way. It's going this way. <laughs> I just redraw it. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that marker. <laughs> he is just a buffoon. Yeah. All of these decisions, Trump and the Republican policies, are destroying the middle class and the poor. Screwed. Vote blue through and through. We started Screwed to fight corruption in politics, the Supreme Court, and the big multinational businesses. We are all in this together. Help the cause, and let's take them down by fighting together and sharing each other's podcasts and channels. Screwed reaches thousands of podcast listeners. Subscribe, follow, and share our content to inform and drive people to vote for democracy, freedom, health care, cleaner environment, and better jobs and wages. For all of our links... And to listen to our free podcast, go to screwed.buzzsprout.com, spelled with two O's. That's S-C-R-O-O-D, buzzsprout.com. Get all of our links there at screwed.buzzsprout.com, spelled with two O's. Anyway, we got to run. Don't let us down, America, or we will all be screwed. <laughs> Look, everybody, get out and vote blue. Down the ticket to register. Check to make sure that you have not been purged from voting registries, especially if you are a Democrat independent voter or a person of color. And we all know this, too. I don't have to tell you. If you live in a red state or district, <laughs> double check like three times. Tell everyone. Everyone to vote blue across the board. Yes. If you're going to be absent, make sure you still vote. Vote by mail. If you're going to be at work, schedule a day off. Tell your friends to schedule a day off 
right now so you can vote. Don't wait. Drive together. Pack your SUV. Ride the bus. Vote blue down the ticket so we can get something done from presidents, Congress, and local politicians. Vote Democrat. Save us from the uber-religious right, billionaires, and big business elites that have already removed 50 years of progress. Save us from bias, big money, Supreme Court justices. Paid off. Heritage Foundation. Yeah. We got paid off. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. It's sad. 